Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth. I am on EF Ultimate Breaks Australian and New Zealand adventure trip. Today is January 13th, Friday the 13th. It is almost 6.30 in the morning. We are at the airport right now. We had a very early wake up call this morning and met to get on the bus to ride here at 5 a.m. Today we have a flight from Queenstown to Christchurch. Then we have a layover for three and a half hours. And then we have a flight from Christchurch to Rotorua. Our flights themselves are not very long at all. Like the first one's like 55 minutes, I think. And then the second one is two-ish hours. Oh, at the airport we have, um, there's a hot air balloon out there. You can't see it now, but I got a clip of it before. We almost did that excursion to do the hot air balloon at sunrise yesterday, but we chose to go paragliding instead. So if you missed that video, it's up here. Plan for today. We land in our final destination at 1.10 p.m. We should be on our transfer to from the airport to our hotel at 1.30. At two o'clock, we'll check into the hotel. And then at three o'clock, we head down to the Polynesian Spa. We have like a time booked there for today. This was included in the trip through EF. Everyone gets to go. It's supposed to be very smelly. But after that, we're going to gather in the lobby at 5.30. After everyone gets a shower and then at 5.40, we're leaving for like a village culture show and dinner. So that is our plan for today. We are about to go over and board our flight because we board in 10 minutes. So that is my update. Um, hopefully today is a good, exciting day, and yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Bad. I had to Google it earlier. <laughs> that was the only reason I had on. <laughs> Ready? Go. We made it to the airport for our layover. We are in Christchurch, New Zealand. We had some breakfast. We had little pancakes. They weren't great. So that's our update. Woo! Woo! We're gonna get on our plane in like 45 minutes. 45 minutes. So. This airport has a wall that you can color on. <laughs> Fun. Better than the graffiti wall. <laughs> We made it to Rotorua. We have a really nice room, actually. The thing that everyone has told us the whole trip is that when you get there, just know that it's gonna stink because of the sulfur in it absolutely does. It stinks way worse than I thought that it would, but that's okay. We are, isn't this fun? It's like a pencil pen. 
cool. We have about an hour to hurry and get some food and then change and get ready to go to the spa that we're going to tonight. It is included in everything and it's a two minute walk like right down the street. Um, so we're just gonna walk there, but we're going to hurry quick, get ready, and then we'll be good to go. Alright, we made it to the spa. I know a question I'll be asked is about towels. Towels are included, we get them for free, and you can um, rent swimwear if you want to, but you do not have to. All major body organs and areas, including vital energy and blood flow throughout your body, relieving stress, improving balance, and enhancing physical and mental well being. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, okay. How so nice. Very relaxing. I feel the pressure point. Very for sure. <laughs> The thermal baths, rank them. Polynesia spa. Polynesian oh, spa. yeah, sorry that. Okay, rank all the ones we've been to between Budapest, this one, and Costa Rica. Costa Rica was easily number one. Absolutely. I'll say Budapest was two because of the sauna. I just yeah. really love the sauna. Yeah. But this is but comparing it, Budapest is super busy. This is not, and I do love how there's not a lot of people here, and it's very relaxing too. It's very chill here. And it's all the hot pool in Budapest, some of the really hot pools were inside. The really hot ones here are outside and you still get a nice view. So this is actually yeah, really neat. The view is nice, when, very beautiful. When ranking them, it's not like one's bad and the others are good. It's, they're all good, but slightly different. Just your preference. And any of them could be your favorite based on your preference. I would say this one's probably my least favorite just because, I don't know, I like the other ones better is the only reason. I would say if I had to pay for this and it was not covered like through EF already, I would not. But this is kind of the setup we have and that's, that's it. Perfect. I guess to answer question two or just like explain this, these are thermal baths that are like naturally heated. They range in temperature so you can like switch pools to get like different temperatures. And the coldest that we've seen so far is 100 degrees and the warmest so far is 106 degrees which is warmer than a hot tub that's really cool but the sulfur like you can tell it is quite potent david loves stuff like this though loves it now that i've been spoiled and like owned my own pool public pools and bathing areas are like not my thing but i'm being a trooper it's fun i'm glad i'm here we're just moving from bath to bath. We are all showered and changed for and clean and less smelly from the spa today. And now we are about to meet in the lobby to head to dinner. This dinner was included with our trip. It was part of the itinerary. We are going to the, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, Maori dinner and the hangi feast. I will just read what our tour director sent over. This experience is a bit indoors and outdoors, dressed accordingly, comfortable walking shoes. We're gonna go for a short walk in the bush. The hangi buffet, it's like a hangi feast. So I think it's like a cultural type of event where we learn about their culture and then 
eat their food. And what we've been told today is that a hangy feast just means that it was cooked in the ground. And so it's going to be like a buffet style. And then our tour director is awesome. So he sent like an overview of everything with all of the food allergies from people in the group. So like the cauliflower salad has sesame seeds in it. So I can't have that. And then he laid out what has gluten and what does not. And then we're going to get a tour of the Mari villages and then the bus is going to pick us up and transfer us there. So I think it'll be cool from what I've seen online. I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I try not to look into it too much before we go just so I am genuinely surprised and um, it doesn't like have high expectations, you know? So we're going to go meet in the lobby and hopefully it's a fun time and hopefully I can vlog a little and show you. dinner experience oh my gosh are you having fun oh my god we're having a great time we had about already yes we have we did that's exciting thought about it so i love that bobby's fault are you excited i am excited are you having a good time i am having a good time i'm a little hungry i am very hungry yes still have till 7:45 And I need to express to everyone that when we do go to the Hakapohiri, we do take this very seriously. Gia Mato, Gia Mato,
Hi. 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 They rock, wrapped in layers and layers of flex fibre, and it was beaten up against the forearm to strengthen our wrists that would depict the wing patterns of our core to confirm found on the $2 coin. <laughs> there was a war party or another tribe approaching the village. Let's go up. dinner and it was kind of like um, a show-ish. It was actually really neat. I enjoyed it. I think a lot of the group was irritated when we got there because we didn't realize that it was like a whole big thing with like, I don't know, how many people you think were there? 150. Yeah, at least 150, 200 people. And so it was like not just our group and I think we were thinking that it was, but we walked in and it was like tables set up everywhere so we all had like to sit in a certain area and then we got there early. So when we got there at like 6 o'clock and sat down, we still had an hour and a half until we were going to eat dinner. And so we were all grumpy and hungry, but the food was really good. The dessert was really good. And then they put like on a show for us. And it was really neat because they talked about like the history of their tribe. And they're like the first people, I guess, of New Zealand who like lived here and started um, <coughs> living here and yeah so it was really cool to go through all their history and like learn about their face painting and like or face tattoos and then like see the show and their songs and their weapons and games and stuff like that so that was really cool and then we ended it after the show with like a nature walk to see the glow worms which i did not like but i don't like being in the woods at night so that was it. Um, it was pretty fun. I did enjoy it. Not as great as the medieval dinner while we were in Prague on the Eastern Europe trip, but it was still good to go. It was fun. So yeah, that is it for today's vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and tomorrow is going to be another fun day. I think we are Zorbing tomorrow because fun fact, Zorbing, the first like recorded Zorbing experience was recorded in New Zealand so they claim like have their claim to like we invented it so fun fact but that'll be tomorrow so subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys then bye